Welcome back to The Manor, Julian McBain here, and this is my 35th Saturday vlog. Uh, and as you can see, I'm already in combat because this is take two. The story so far. So, and I know I could, I could mash the two videos together, but I'm not going to. I don't like where I was going with the first vlog anyway. So I'm just gonna nuke it and I'm gonna start this one over. But here's basically what happened. I got about halfway through my recording when my Wi-Fi card decided it didn't want to do its job anymore. It just turned itself off. I th I, th I think it ran into an error and so it cycled itself because it corrected itself almost immediately. Just cut all of my net, cycled itself. So I think there was just a, an error of some sort and it corrected itself. And I know these things happen, you know. I've been using computers since the Apple II. So, technology might have a, a hiccup? Nah. I don't ever remember that happening. You know, my Texas Instruments TI-89-2000. Uh, the cartridge got jarred. There goes your game. Yes, I'm old. <laughs> So, uh, let's see. In in the last take, I rambled a bit about the weather. I'm not going to subject you guys to that. Um, but it's been a rough week. It has been a rough week. And it's not just because of the weather, although I think that's a contributing factor. People have just been grouchy. Like, seriously grouchy. And, uh... I know it's kind of endemic to this time of year. Kids are going back to school. Fall's coming. People are trying to finish up what they need for um, for the winter or for the school year. You know, kids get grouchy because they don't want to go back. Their summer's ending, and it's just it's that time of year. But it doesn't make it any rougher on the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? And and as one of those parents with a child who has to go back to school, and my son's going to be missing his first week of school because we're going to be in Texas. And that wasn't really in my original plan, but that's just the way the cards kind of fell. And it's all been approved by the school, of course. But um, it's just it's like, geez, I'm crow people. Take, take a Valium or something. Take a chill pill. I do not I do not endorse the overuse of medication to solve your problems. That being said, I do know that it's sometimes necessary for people to do things like that. And you should always consult a psychologist or doctor when taking medication. There is my standard disclaimer. Which I know is totally unnecessary because I'm just some low jack on YouTube and not, you know, a psychology professional. But considering the amount I discuss psychology on my channel. I figured I'd just throw that out there. I'm not a psychologist and I'm not here to, you know, I'm not here to shame someone who is on medication because they need it. Um, okay, now that I've run that circle too many times. So interesting thing happened. I got approached by a website to exclusively do Entropia Universe content for that website. Meaning, of course, I would not be able to do any more Entropia Universe content for my channel. And uh, I've made a decision on whether or not to do it, and I'm not going to um, get into too many details on it, but it was an interesting proposition. It was a very interesting proposition. And... I think the I think the idea is in the right place, but I don't think it's necessarily the right time. And I have my reasons. Uh, I'll be sending an official response probably by the time this video goes out. Um, it would allow for instant monetization, and I'll tell you something as a creator, as a creator who's been doing this for over a year and has not been able to monetize it. I've made exactly $5 the entire time I've had my channel up. And that was from a friend back before I had to uh, ax my monetization until um, 
not my YouTube monetization, but my, my site monetization, my McBain Manor, uh, dot com monetization, uh, for a while. Um, it was sorely tempting. It was. But I don't think it's the direction I want to go. And so, you know, I, I do want to thank the company that made the offer. Um, I, it was a generous, it was a fairly generous offer. Uh, because frankly, the terms were better than YouTube offers. And I'm not criticizing YouTube or anything like that. It's just, that's, that's the fact of the matter, you know. view for view it was a better it was a much better offer than youtube and i didn't have to i don't have to wait for the youtube partnership requirements but i don't think that's the direction i want to go at this time it would be like joining a multi-channel network and that's basically what it is it's a multi-channel network um but it uses a different platform than youtube and at this time i don't want to obligate myself or the manor to an outside entity. And so I won't be taking that offer. Um, but it was really cool. It was really cool to be approached from the outside. Like that's never, that really never happens to me. And so to, to ha be approached by this outside company and say, hey, we want you to, we want you to continue doing what you do best, but we want you to do it for us. And we're going to allow you to make money off of it before you normally would be able to. And that was, that was an amazing feeling. Uh, so that was really cool. So yeah, I mean, I wish them the best of luck. I think that they're going to grow. Um, I think they're going to do really well. Uh, at this time, though, it, I won't be one of their creators. So it is what it is. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to collect my thoughts because I got... I got halfway through and I'm out here hunting berry clut and all of a sudden my net drops out and I'm like, what the hell now? And my, my brain's all scattered whereas I was pretty focused before. Um, so yeah, next week I'm going to be in Texas. I'm leaving Tuesday. And I will be there until the following Wednesday. And so I'm going to make sure all of the content that needs to go up is ready and recorded and good to go. So you, are, you shouldn't see any sort of gap in content production or not production but release i'm gonna have it all scheduled out my facebook page is already scheduled out make sure if, if you're one of my subscribers will you please click the link below go to my facebook page and like the page that would help me a lot i really appreciate it also if you're not one of my subscribers please take a moment and subscribe you can use the little uh, watermark in the lower right-hand corner there. I just got that set up. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscriber at a time. So, please take an opportunity to subscribe. I'm just right on the clip, so. Uh, main page. It looks like the Aoma migration. Migra migration. It's a migration. No, it's a migration. Oh my god, I can't English today. Which I know there's there's people from other English speaking countries saying, "Oh, you're American. You can't English anyway." It's like, yeah, I know. Okay. Um, I proudly use the Oxford Dictionary for all my spellings. It irritates the hell out of people though. <laughs> so all these extra U's. Um, in fact, th this is how much, this, this is how much I use the Oxford Dictionary. My computer is set to UK English and my Google, I have one of the Google speakers, the Google Home Minis, and it has a British accent because it's set to UK English. No joke. So, 
Uh, and in fact, it actually sounds like... I, I just occurred to me, my Google Home Mini sounds like the same voice that was from the detailed, the female detailed computers in the original Armored Core. It's almost identical. So, that's a game. I wish they would, like, port that game retro style to PC. Like, forget all the new ones. The original Armored Core. I would play the shit out of that. I loved that game. I still love that game. I've thought about trying to pick up a copy on eBay. My concern is, of course, whenever you buy something used on eBay, it's going to be, there's a good chance it's going to be damaged. And the other thing is, I don't have my PlayStation set up. And that is a game I would, like, totally record if I could figure out how to hook a PS2 up to be recorded. That would kick ass. So if the PS5 has true backward compatibility all the way to the PS1, which is rumored... I know it's supposed to have it back to the 4, possibly to the 3. I'm really hoping to have it, it's going to be backward compatible all the way to the 1, because if that's the case, fuck it, I'll drop the 600 bucks on it. You know, I haven't dropped money on a console in, well, I've never dropped money on a console, actually. I have never dropped money on a, on a console. My PS, uh, my PSX, because I had the original PlayStation. Back before there was a PlayStation one, it was just PSX. I had a PSX, I had a PS2. And those were both Christmas gifts, because I got both... Did the PS2 come? Yeah. The PS1 was... When did PS1 come? When did PSX come out? PlayStation, my first PlayStation... Oh no, I was still in grade school, I think. I was like eighth grade. I was I was tickled pink. I got a television in my room for the first time, a whole thirteen inch tube. For you younger millennials and all the Gen Zers out there, yeah. Um got a VCR. My PlayStation. And then suddenly I was the cool kid in my friend group because I had my own television. Um and then promptly got grounded from it for a month because my grades sucked. I, so I didn't do my homework, okay? I don't endorse not doing your homework, but it, it is what it is. When you're when you're 13, that's sometimes what you do. Um, 12 or 13. I don't remember how old I was. Are you kidding me? I'm 35 now. I just I, my brain can't brain that far back. Uh, PS2 was a Christmas gift. I was still a minor, I believe. And then my Xbox 360, I won at a uh, work competition. I was doing, I was a convenience store manager, and there was a sales competition for Pepsi products. And the prize for each um, each area, so each district, you know, one store manager would get a an Xbox 360 for best sales, and I actually outstripped the company. <laughs> the whole company. So, I got my 360. But I never dropped money on a console. I will drop money on a PS5 if it has, if it has true backward compatibility. Without hesitation. Ooh! We got a gun. It's a little gun. Holy crap, it's got good markup. That would be worth selling. It would be worth using, but it would definitely be worth selling. So yeah, if that's the case, then I'll definitely pick up a PS5. I'll hook it up so I can record things. And there are games for PlayStation that I really want to record. And we're not just talking PS1. Like, I want to do a Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough. 
I really do. I've seen a Let's Play video run through of it. Christopher Fraud's Let's Play of um, Horizon Zero Dawn was just awesome. Uh, I would love to do a playthrough of that. Armored Core. I haven't played it in a million years. I would love to do a true playthrough of the original Armored Core for video. Um, trying to think of what other games... can't think of any off the top of my head. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Although, PlayStation 4 has a complete set of Kingdom Hearts now, so that's not so that's not so hard. You know, I could pick up the PS4 version and just play through the entire series. That would be a series I would love to do. That one, however, would probably have to be on top of everything else because... Well, no, because I did Wii Happy Few and that was like 45 hours. Kingdom Hearts is a Final Fantasy... I don't care what anyone says. Kingdom Hearts is a Final Fantasy game with Disney characters. That... that That's all there is to it. Okay? It's not a Disney game with Final Fantasy characters. It's a Final Fantasy game with Disney characters. You know, even though you have... Hyper Emo Cloud, which, okay, Cloud was emo to begin with, but he gets even more emo in Kingdom Hearts. And same with, same with Squall. Like, what the hell is up with Squall? He's emo to begin with, and then, you know, the, the typical high school emo dream of getting the girl happens, and you'd think that he was becoming less depressed, and then Kingdom Hearts comes along, and it, it's back to emo, and it's like, dude... <laughs> and I'm not ragging on emo culture or anything, because... Like, Squall was the guy I identified with in high school. Okay. Which... You know, I, I don't say that with any pride, but I don't say it with any shame either. Because high school... Ugh. Sometimes I wonder how we all survive high school. Then again... I think it would be awesome. It would, it would be a cool experiment if we could figure out how to do it without causing problems. If we were to take a group of adults and make them go back to high school for a year. Like, just drop them into a high school. Here you go. <laughs> Welcome back to the shit show. And the funny thing is, I think there's a lot of places that adults would do better. And I think there's a lot of places where adults would not know what the fuck to do. So I think that would make, like, like, and I'm not a reality TV person. I can't stand reality TV. I would watch the shit out of that. I think it would just be funny as hell. I do. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Just had to check my timestamp here. That's the other thing about losing like a chunk of video. I have no clue how long I've been on here and I forgot to set a timer. Come on. There we go. So. Um. Hmm. Holy crap, I might be out of stuff to talk about. Oh. Uh, Scotty CS and I... Or, Scotty CS. Scotty C93. Um, I commented on one of his videos that we should do a collab, and he agreed. So, that is something that might be coming up in the future. I don't know when. It'll definitely be after I'm back from Texas. Because I think he and I are like 12 hours apart. And so, arranging that could be interesting but I, I think that's definitely something in the future it's 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 something we're going to make an i think we're going to make an effort to do and i'm i don't want to speak for scotty but he was like he seemed very enthusiastic in his comment back from me on his uh his first vlog which i will link down below check out his channel if you haven't checked it out yet he does good work he really does. He makes some really cool content. He's playing a couple of other games. He's also doing a Let's Play series on, uh, uh, I think, 
the name of the place is Pandor. And I will be damned if I can't remember the name of this, the freaking game off the top of my head. And so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to look it up. Um, Prophecy of Pandor. Or Pendor. Prophecy of Pendor. It's an E, not an A. And the game looks interesting. Uh, it's definitely, if it's, I don't think it's a recent release, but if it is, it's in a retro, it's in a solidly retro style. Like we're talking, it's something that I would have been very comfortable playing at, as, as modern technology back in the early 2000s, like Diablo, Diablo 1, Diablo 2 time period. Um, the graphics have aged well. Well, actually it might even be earlier than that. No, I'd say it's it's closer to like like mist. It's like 16-bit graphics. And they look good. Like the game looks good. Um for its retro not for its retro style. It has a retro style and it looks good there. That's what I'm trying to say. I love the fact that I can sometimes jump and hit them. Which does not work in real life. Do do not do not jump and shoot with a firearm ever. Ever. Um. So yeah, uh, check out his channel. I will link it in the description down below. But uh, but yeah, it's you know. That would be something I think would be really cool is to do a collab with Scotty and. Um, just do some hunting. And whatever that happens to look like, we'll figure it out. And I know he's done collabs with, like, Serial... Serial Overdrive. Um... So I just, I think it would be really cool. Okay, I think we're going to start packing it in. I've pretty much run out of things to talk about. Um. Oh. Uh, the area that I'm going to be staying in, in in Texas. Got a call from the lady yesterday, and she's like, So, we just found a cotton mouth in the backyard? I'm like, oh, lovely. So, yeah. I've lived in the Midwest. I've lived in the North Midwest the Midwest comes with some inherent dangers that you don't experience in New England. Like, danger in New England is large and rare. I.e., I've come within 30 feet of a bear. In fact, that happened recently. I was mowing my lawn, a freaking bear crossed the road within, you know, I think he was 15 meters away. Not even. Um, or she. Actually, it was probably a she. I'm pretty sure it's a mama bear that's running around. Not running around, but you know what I mean. Because this bear has been around for a while. And we have seen cub, cub prints in the past. And she passes through at least once a year. Usually twice. Um, I mentioned this in a previous vlog, so I'm not going to go into it, but... You know, while we have mountain rattlers in Vermont, good luck finding one. They are shy. They don't like you. And they'll just as soon run away as strike. Which is good. You know, cotton mouths, cotton mouths are shy too. They don't, you know, they're not aggressive. But that doesn't mean they won't strike. And they're more easily provoked than a mountain rattler. Come on. You know, I mean, I live in North Dakota where, you know, I've had friends who go camping and there's a rattlesnake between them and the bathroom. That's no fun. Um, but Texas has, Texas has some shit. You know... 
rattlesnakes and cotton mouths and tarantulas, which tarantulas can't kill you, but I wouldn't want to be bit by one. Um, you know, it's not quite the fauna of Australia, but I I'm willing to bet that Texas is the Australia of America. <laughs> You know, actually, that reminds me, there was a joke, um, or not a joke, but a meme, on Facebook, and it was an American and an Australian talking about possums. And an Australian possum is really cute. And an American possum looks like it's about, it's, it, it would drag you into the garbage to have a fight with it. And so the joke was that America somehow got Australia's possum. <laughs> so okay guys i'm gonna leave it at that thank you for watching thank you for listening please like share and subscribe down below we are on the road to 13 million subscribers one subscription at a time and make sure you check out scotty cs or excuse me scotty c93 link is in the description also don't forget to check out my website mcbainmanor.com and my sponsor critical links links are also in the description as always and again my facebook page is at the bottom of that as well guys you have been awesome thank you so much for all of your support you all have a wonderful day